Will you show how to rig them? That is a question that I had in response to the Hoagie Swimming Jack Catch Big Fish video. So that's what we're going to do today. We've got a Hoagie's Swimming Jack that's about four inches in length. A lot of y'all also ask, what size do I purchase? Well, there's only one size for the Hoagie Swimming Jack, and that is this one right here, approximately like four inches long. Uh, black plastic with a lot of red flake inside there and then just a chartreuse tail. What I rig it on is a 1 8 ounce swim hook. This one right here is the watermelon red which is my color of choice. Uh, I mean it doesn't really matter. I mean they've got this kind right here that is like a gray and then I think they have like a brownish color one. But I, I just buy whatever is in stock. So you got 1 8 ounce little lead weight right there on the shaft of the hook and it is a 3 aught size then you got the corkscrew so this corkscrew uh, really doesn't uh, have issues with uh, what do you call it because I'm fishing in a salt it doesn't have issues with corrosion but uh, yeah so you take that and then press it against the plastic itself I try to stay as close to the center as I possibly can just so that you can have true swimming action whenever you finally start using this hook or this lure. Uh, you corkscrew it on and then I press it up against the tag end of the corkscrew right there. That's good enough. Make sure it's level and that's good right there. So once that's done, it's on. Uh, very durable. It's going to stay there. Redfish are very destructive in nature whenever they hit a lure. Uh, they do it with such force that it will rip plastics, it will rip uh, like flies and everything, and you'll just see teeth marks all over the place. I'm here to tell you that these things are super durable. They last for a while, several trips if you're lucky, and don't lose it to the oyster, or get a redfish that just absolutely breaks you off because you didn't retie. So, going through the plastic, I basically lay the hook alongside it, and then use my thumb as an indicator point to go in and try to make it through the center just like that and then you come out alongside that spine this is rigged perfectly ready to go fishing um, this guy it catches so many fish check out the remainder of the videos that I have on my playlist and you'll see exactly what I mean but it is so simple to rig with the swim hook. There's other ones that have pegs that you can just go straight in, but the corkscrew helps to secure your plastic uh, for a lot longer. Uh, this guy just, again, it catches so many fish. So if you ever have an opportunity to use these, I highly recommend it. Again, check out the remainder of the videos on this playlist and you'll see exactly why I talk so highly about this fishing lure. All right, that's it. Quick, simple video on how to rig the swimming jack. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me that thumbs up or click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.